Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video today, I'll be showing you how to operate this handheld sewing machine. Now, I'll be using the Handy Stitch brand, but they're all very similar, so hopefully this video can help you today no matter which um, brand you have. Okay, so usually when you get your Handy Stitch out of the box, it will already be threaded up and have fabric in it. I've already taken the fabric out and I'm going to unthread it so I can show you step by step how to thread the machine up. Okay, so I'm going to remove this bobbin of thread. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I do anything else with this machine I'm going to put it into the lock position so you have the operating button at the top here and there's a little lock here so most machines should have something like this so to lock it we just slide it in under that button okay now this is a battery operated machine so I'm going to load the batteries into the bottom here now this takes four AA batteries and it's got some little symbols on the side to help you see which way they need to go. Okay, so my batteries are all loaded up and I'll just check. Power. So yes, that is working. I'm just gonna lock it again. Now, I always like to keep it in the lock position when I'm not operating it because you can accidentally press the button when you don't mean to. I've done it a few times. Okay, so just to be safe, Keep it in the lock position when you're not actually sewing with it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to um, get some thread into it. Now you'd have this little pin that comes on the machine um, and you may also get a spare longer pin as well. So if you actually want to use a spool of thread like this, you can just use that instead of having the thread on the bobbin. Okay, I'm just going to use the short one for today. So I've got a bobbin loaded up here with some pink thread to make it easier for you to see, hopefully. So I'm going to put my pin through the bobbin of thread there. And I've got my spring on there. Now this comes loose, so be careful not to drop it because it is hard to find on a floor. I'm going to push that pin into that spot there. Okay, now it doesn't really matter which way the thread is coming off the bobbin. The first thread guide is right here. So we need to pass the thread from the bottom through to the top. Okay, like so. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and then the next thread guide is actually the tension discs here. So just on this little knob here, you have two little discs. Okay, and the thread needs to sit in between those two little discs, okay? And just hanging down like so. All right, now the next thread guide is a little bit of a tricky one. So right underneath the arm here, you can see a hook. Okay, and the thread needs to be hooked, needs to be over that hook. So I'm just going to use my fingers here, so bear with me. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Put the thread over the hook there. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is we need to put the thread through the needle going from the back through to the front. Now the direction is quite important. Now the easiest way I've found to do this is with the little needle threader that they've given you in the little pack. So I put the little hook through the hole or the eye of the needle and I have the hook facing down and just need a hook, the thread under that hook be much easier if this was on the table but I'm holding it here so it's easier for you guys to see. Okay and just hold that thread out and carefully pull that hook through the eye of the needle. 
Um, oh, I've just got a little loop. I'll see if I can get that. Ah, right, I'm going to have to try that again. Okay, once you've got that little loop through, just pull the thread tail all the way through. Okay, now the machine is threaded and ready to use. Before we do that, I'm just going to show you a couple of other parts. Um, here we have the rotary wheel. So this allows you to take the needle up and down. So it doesn't matter which direction you use it in, either way works. Okay, and we also have this one, this bit here. This is the fastening plate, okay? And I'll be showing you how to use that in a minute. All right, we're ready to sew. So I'm gonna show you the way that um, I prefer to use, or the easiest way that I think to use it is first. So the easiest way I found is to have the um, little handheld sewing machine sitting on your table like so. Uh, use my left finger to operate the on off switch and then I use my right hand to guide the fabric through. Okay, so I've just got two pieces of cotton here that I'm using. All right, so the easiest way I've found, when you're ready, unlock the machine. Just place your fabric at the beginning of the fastening plate here. So the fabric is going to be pulled um, from this direction towards the back, okay? Or if you're holding it this way, it's going to go from right to left, okay? Right, so I've got it flat on the table. All right, I'm going to press the button down. Okay, so it started sewing. Now, if it's, if you've just threaded the machine up, what I suggest you do, because you're going to have that thread tail that's going to be getting in the way there, if you just grab that thread and just pull that all the way through, and that will keep it out of the way of getting tangled up in your stitching there. Okay, so I've reached the end of my fabric. So what I'm actually going to do, I'll just turn it around so you can see it a bit easier. I don't usually turn it around at this point, but when you get to the end of your stitching, what you need to do is put your thumb and your finger on that last stitch like that, and just let it sew so the, so the thread comes out just a bit more, maybe until you've got about 20 centimeters or eight inches or so and just snip it in between. Okay, now the reason why I suggest you hold the thread is because when you actually pull this, because it does a chain stitch, if you pull that thread now and just leave it as it is, your sewing is going to gradually come unstitched. Okay, so what you need to do at this point is you turn your fabric over and you need to find the last loop okay and you need to pull that thread tail from the front through to the back okay and that will help to stop your stitching from coming undone now I'll just show you what else I suggest you do to stop it from um, unraveling or to make it a bit more secure so to secure your thread even more, grab the little hook that came with your pack and what I like to do is just create a little loop with this thread. So lay it down like so. Okay, I'm going to keep my finger on that loop and at the same time I'm going to pass this little hook with the, with the little hook bit facing down under the last stitch and I'm going to grab that thread and pull it under that stitch, pull it all the way through, don't let that little loop come through and then I'm just going to pass that thread tail through the loop okay, and pull it nice and tight and that will keep your thread even more secure. Okay. Now the other end should be fine Okay, but if you want, you can do the same thing uh, with that end. Now, the other way that you can start sewing with this, especially if you're hemming pants or the bottom of a t-shirt and you don't actually want to start sewing right from the edge, um, is, I'm just gonna 
make sure that's locked. Um, you can actually uh, lift up the fastening plate, okay, so very carefully, okay, without pushing down on this arm, because sometimes when you push on the arm, it could make it feel like it's going to saw your finger. So lift up this fastening plate and make sure the needle is in the highest position by using that rotary wheel. And you can place your fabric under the needle where you want to start sewing. Okay. And the same thing. Unlock and sew. There we go. Now you can also use the handheld sewing machine holding it uh, vertically to your body, if that makes sense. So with your fabric under the fastening plate, unlock and you can sew that way go across. I find that way a little bit more awkward, but try both ways and see what works best for you. Okay. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you have. Subscribe to keep up to date with any new videos. If you have any problems with this machine and you'd like some help with troubleshooting, then pop a comment down below and I'll just try my best to answer it for you. Okay, check out the playlists at the end of the video um, and also check out the playlist for the other Minima sewing machine. You might have one of these in your house. Um, I'll show you step by step how to use one of those as well. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.